Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon X and Y. Alright, so the last episode we went on to the Zerbay and we got some items and today we're just going to go to Kumarian City and we're going to get some items and stuff and have a good time. Try to have a good time. Alright, so first off, there's some items you can get down here. Um, the incense so shop is south of here. There's some randomly accessed items. So, yeah, like, on, like, random days, you can get, like, different items. You can go here, there's going to be an item sitting out there for you. You can get an elixir, a silk, oh, wait, no, elixir, cherry berry, oh, wait, no, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm reading them off. You can get cherry berry, chesto berry, pekka berry, ross berry, or an aspir berry. No, I'm taking my thing and I'm leaving, because I'm. Because I'm a mean guy. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, you can get different berries on different days. Like I showed before, you can get the um, incenses here. Let's go in here. Um, let's, see what's, let's see what's up. Let's go talk to these people. Well, it is the traveling channel. It's just a woman and her husband and her dog. Okay. So, this guy gives you a silk scarf, which will boost the power of normal type moves. By like something 20%. I don't know. Alright. 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 Also, it says um, you can get an elixir. Let's see. There's something here. Where is this elixir? Let's get out our dice machine. Let's find this thing. Alright. We're getting close. Are we, are we, okay, an elixir, yay, yeah, it's not that exciting, don't get too excited over it, it's just an elixir, just calm down, just calm down, okay, so, you can also, oh, a great time for us in the Azor Bay, yep, he's just kind of referencing the, uh, that Ampharos site we got in these and come here kid I mean dude talk to this guy who gives you a good rod so that can help you catch more powerful Pokemon and that's actually uh that's how you get Chincho in the early route to evolve into Lantern which if I didn't have a Gyarados I'd probably use that maybe I'll drop the Gyarados for that I don't know So, not too much else to see here. Oh, by the way, like I said, like I said in, the, in an earlier episode, there is a person up here. TM Quiz already did that for today. Alright, so let's go in this house right here because you can get a lucky egg in here. Um, oh, wait, no. Oh, wait. Yeah. Come here. I believe you need to show her a high, Pokemon with high friendship. I believe that's how you get it. Let's see. Alright, nice! Lucky egg! I am going to go ahead and slap that on my Gyarados. Slap that on my Gyarados. It will be talking with the... Let it roll off my tongue. The words out of my mouth. I'm so cool. No. Alright, give him the lucky egg. And, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, the um, TMs you can get, if I didn't make that clear in the last episode, I mean, the couple episodes back, Confide Trick Room Embargo Acrobatics. Trick Room, I mean, Acrobatics is really probably the only good one you want. Trick Room is good for um, Wi-Fi battling, especially like double battles, like VGC stuff. By the way, all right. So, there are a couple more items you can get in here. Some, um, I think... Most noted ones are in the station. So, Professor Sycamore and uh, this shady woman here, with dressed in something weird hairdo. So she'll he'll tell you about stuff, and he gives you something. I'm just waiting for him to. Yeah, I don't really care what he's saying. He's boring. He's not cool, like Professor Oak. Yep. Gives you HMO2 fly where you can fly to different places, but I need 
I believe you need to have the gym badge in order to do that. Unfortunately, I don't know. But you can still, it's really helpful against the gym because he's a grass type. And as you probably should know, flying types are super effective against grass types. So, okay, just stop talking to me. Go along my way. You're really annoying. Thank you. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead right here and teach my fly to Storavia, which if you have a flying type, as soon as you get fly, or a flying type that can learn fly, as soon as you get it, you should definitely teach it to your flying type Pokemon, because you are definitely, most definitely going to be using it in the future. I'm just going to get rid of Whirlwind, because I am never going to use that move. Wing Attack is, I, I, I'll use it just in place of fly, because I don't like using the two turns. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Alright. So, there are a couple more items you can get in here. Let's see. I believe this guy gives you a metronome. Oh, no. It's another guy in the station. Never mind. No. Yes. Okay. So, we go on this monorail. And I don't know why there's two people. One girl, you just talk to her. And the other guy is like a big buff guy and he just blocks you and you try to walk by he's just like hey talk to the lady first something like that so is it you I talk to okay metronome metronome it powers up moves if you use them in like succession so if you just keep on like spamming like like a uh, night slash or something it'll get more and more powerful as you go on there are a couple more items you're going to want to get here um the sky plate, you get it by just coming up here really quick. Grabbing that, which I showed in my all Pokemon plate, all RC's plate locations in Pokemon X and Y tutorial. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I sound like an idiot. So, come down here and talk to this punk guy, and he will give you the black sludge, which will heal HP. It's like leftovers, except it's only for poison types. It only works, um, it only heals poison type Pokemon. Um, however, if you have it on another Pokemon, it will actually hurt them, and they will lose HP. It's good if you have, like, Trick, or if you just have, like, a poison type Pokemon, you want to get it too. So, I'm just, Pokemon Center in here, it's cool, there's Pokemon Center everywhere. So, yeah. I believe you can actually buy some pretty good Pokeballs in here. Um, yeah, Quick Ball, Timer Ball, Repeat Ball. You might want some Quick Balls, because, you know, you're always, like, it's, it's always nice to have those, because, you know, like, the first turn of a battle, you can just go in really quick, use one, you know, try your luck whatever. It's good for catching like really a uh, low catch rate Pokemon. Um, now there are there is something in the house south of the Pokemon Center. There's a Poke toy you can get. So let's see here. Talk to this girl. No. Okay. That makes me shut a tear. Not really. Why don't you just sing that? You know, whatever. Shh, be quiet. Listen to you. No. Okay, just, just turn off the music. Alright, so talk to this girl, and she will mimic the sound of one of your party Pokemon. I believe that was Gyarados. She will give you a Poke Toy, which is cool. I don't think it's that useful. So, uh, yeah. Oh! Okay. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, let's just go. I guess there's not too much more to see in here. There's one more thing we need to do really quick. One more thing we need to do really quick that I'm going to show. That we're going to
going to do really quick. Really, really quick. So, alright, go down here, I heal my Pokemon for a reason, okay, and not just, just, not just because, and I'm actually just going to put my Snorlax in the front, I'll put him in the front, if I'm wrong on this, I swear to God, I'm gonna freak out, oh man, I was right, look who it is, it's the trainer, oh, Looks like Mega versus Mega. This is what's going down. Alright, so your rival trainer starts off with a Meow Stick. Level 31, Keen Eye for the ability, Psybeam, Fake Out, Disarming Voice, and Light Screen. I have nothing to say about that. That's, that's all I have to say. By the way, um, if you're facing Kalem, so if you picked a girl, It'll have the um, male meow stick, and um, if you're fa facing the boy as a female, no, no, God, if you're facing the girl, it has a fe she has a female. If you're facing the boy, she has, he has a male. Good enough. Good enough. That good. Good enough. Alright. I was going to say the male meow stick has more um stat like gets more status moves leveling up. Female meow stick gets more like um attacking moves, but I don't really think that matters all that much because um I don't think their stats are any different. Never they're, they're not. Oh I I thought she was going to heal well, at least I'm going to be a little bit more powerful, which is always nice. Alright, so got that leftovers healing me up right now. Alright. I'm sorry, I'm talking like, got the leftovers healing me up right now. Yeah. Alright, so I, I just, I, 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 I just want to be cool, but I just want to be like you guys. I just want to be cool. That was random. That was just... I don't even know why I said that. Like, I was... I was pondering, like... Am I gonna, like... Am I, sometimes I ponder, like... Am I gonna say this? Or, like... Usually... Usually... You know what? This doesn't... This isn't even relevant. This is just whatever. Alright. Next up, Absol, level 31, super luck for the ability, slash bite and quick attack. Has some good attack, so watch out for that. I'm just going to go for that power up punch, which is pretty nice, because it powers you up, man. It gives you an attack boost, and I think if I were to use a different move, that would have but you know what? It's alright, because I still got an attack boost. Actually, come to think of it, it might not have, so... Maybe it wasn't in vain. Yep, hit a critical hit. By the way, super luck increased the rate of critical hits. So that slash will be like crazy. Hitting you with them crits. Critical hits. Lame. Oh, I'm so lame. Okay. Alright. Kill me with the leftovers. And the final Pokemon. The starter. So, Frog Deer, level 33, Torrent for the ability, Quick Attack Water Pulse, Quilladin, Overgrowth for the ability, Needle Arm Bite, or Braxian, level 33, Blaze for the ability, Psybeam, Fire Spin. As you know, she always has the starter that yours is weak to. So, you know, if you have Grass, she has Fire, all that good stuff. Okay. And still, they only have two moves, or they've only been able to see two moves so far. Document or whatever. As a Pokemon trainer, you are pathetic. That is why I always win. <laughs> shame. Shame. I like making people sad. It's... No, I'm just kidding. That's so evil. 
All right. So we are in front of the gym, and we can go in now, and you can face the gym. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do that in the next episode. So next time, on Pokemon X and Y, going to take on the Kumarine City Gym, which is an old little tiny guy. I think his name's Ramos. I don't know. So, anyways, see you guys next time.